Hi everyone. The Swedish warship Vasa, a marvel of 17th century naval engineering, stands as one of the most fascinating maritime relics ever recovered. Commissioned by King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden as a symbol of his military might during the conflict with Poland-Lithuania, Vasa was intended to be the crown jewel of the Swedish fleet. Her construction began in 1626 at the Stockholm Navy Yard, under the watchful eyes of private contractors. The ship was designed to be one of the most formidable warships of its time, boasting an impressive array of bronze cannons, which were specially cast in Stockholm to arm this majestic vessel. Her ornate design, featuring intricate carvings and decorations, reflected not only the king's ambitions for Sweden but also his desire to project power and prestige across Europe. However, beneath her grand exterior lay a critical flaw, Vasa was dangerously top-heavy, with too much weight concentrated in her upper decks. Despite this, the ship was ordered to set sail on August 10, 1628, a decision driven by the king's eagerness to see her join the fleet and the reluctance of his subordinates to confront the monarch's wishes. Tragically, just 1,300 meters into her maiden voyage, a sudden gust of wind exposed her instability. Vesa heeled over, water flooded in through the open gun ports, and within minutes, the pride of the Swedish Navy was resting on the seabed of Stockholm Harbor. The sinking of Vesa was a national disaster, and an inquiry was swiftly launched by the Swedish Privy Council. Yet, in the end, no one was held accountable for the tragedy. For centuries, the ship lay forgotten, its cannons salvaged, and its story gradually fading from memory. It wasn't until the late 1950s that Vesa was rediscovered in a busy shipping lane in Stockholm Harbor. In 1961, the ship was brought to the surface in a remarkable salvage operation, with her hull largely intact after more than three centuries underwater. This recovery marked the beginning of Vesa's transformation from a sunken wreck to a symbol of Sweden's storied maritime history. The Vesa Museum in Stockholm, where the ship is now housed, has become one of Sweden's most popular tourist attractions, drawing visitors from around the world. The museum not only displays the ship itself but also thousands of artifacts recovered from the wreck, including clothing, weapons, tools, and even some of the ship's original sails. These artifacts provide an extraordinary glimpse into life in early 17th century Sweden, offering scholars and visitors alike a unique window into the past. Vesa's preservation is an ongoing challenge, as the ship continues to face the effects of centuries spent underwater. The efforts to conserve her and study the many artifacts found aboard have provided invaluable insights into shipbuilding techniques naval warfare, and daily life during the time of her construction. Today, Vesa is recognized as the world's best preserved 17th century ship, a testament to both the skill of her builders and the care taken in her preservation. The story of Vesa is one of ambition, tragedy, rediscovery, and preservation. From her construction as a symbol of a burgeoning empire to her catastrophic sinking and eventual resurrection, Vesa remains an enduring symbol of Sweden's maritime heritage. Her tale continues to captivate and educate, making her not just a ship, but a living piece of history that bridges the gap between the past and present.
Thanks for watching.